So there's an all-male Fox panel. And when that happens, it's just <laughs> always good. It's always good. Um, they were talking with Duck Dynasty's very own Willie Robertson to discuss whether or not women should be allowed to, quote, parade around in leggings. Um, here is our first video showing what happened. We have brought in an esteemed panel of fathers right here to see if they would allow their daughters to wear leggings to school. But my girls, they wear uh, like the longer shirts to cover up the lady parts, you know. We, we basically have a rule in the Idala household overall uh, between this my niece Juliana and Madison and Carly. If it's not worn in the monastery, it's not worn out on the street by the Idala. I mean, it's very simple. It's an easy, you know, it's very easy. Our girls are so young that uh, they have, you know, diapers on and it's fine. You know, it looks kind of cute. But, but right. look into the future. What's going to happen? <laughs> yeah. That is one taste. Here's another taste of what they had to say. Caitlin, come on over. Hi, uh, Caitlin. And she, Hi. Caitlin, Hi. just stop right there. The guys are looking at Caitlin right now. She's I'm not, wearing, actually, I'm not looking. All right, she's, for the record, she's, I'm you're not wearing away. leggings and a hooded sweatshirt. All right. In other words, it's not so different. tight that you can see a tattoo on her leg. Right. They're not, that's the, they're not that tight. Not, not that tight that, that you can okay. see a tattoo on her leg. You, you don't have tattoos, or is that a too no, personal? I don't. Okay, just ask. Him. All right. Wow. Great. Thank are you very much. Coming right out over here. Right. here folks. We will validate your parking. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Okay. So good. There's a couple more. Do we want more? There's two. Yeah, more. I do. But first, I have to say that, that that was my favorite. Like leggings are unacceptable. Uh, so let's show you chicks in leggings. Yeah. Oh, it's like all the <laughs> spring break videos. Oh my God! Look at what they're wearing. In fact, let's look at what they're wearing. Yeah. Oh, so good. Over. Here's here's a, another example of someone wearing leggings. See, of the three, I think. Uh, See, this is what I was talking about. See, it's, extended, it's something a little longer. Shirt yeah. Right. Imagine yeah. can actually go to church like that. I mean. So I think that, that, that's uh, that's monastery wear to well, you. Well, it's black. Oh, okay, it's black. It's it's more or less covered. There's not much going on. I mean, I, I think she looks very appropriate. Well, uh, of the three models we have, I think this particular ensemble exemplifies what the woman uh, we just ran the, in the viral video. She said, "It's got to cover your tail." Oh, oh yeah. tail yeah. coverage. Yeah. Wow. Right, on, tail right, right on the line there. Right on the line. All right. So there are no women on the panel. Right. They they literally had her show her ass. Okay. Yeah. In a segment about how a pro decorum in what you should wear yeah. for the common good. In this one, it might just be the common best. And our final contestant is Paige. Oof. All right. <laughs> oh, I like the final friend. All right. So. <laughs> Pass. So Paige is wearing uh, purple leggings with a black tank top. It looks like Paige just came from Pilates. Yeah. yeah. No, I did not wake up that early. Okay. <laughs> Steve, we all took our nitroglycerin pills before she came on up to the okay. set just to make sure. Andrew, uh, what do you think about what Paige is wearing? She looks great going to the gym. Uh, I would. What if uh, she's at the mall? At the mall. At the mall? Um, Come on, step up. <laughs> step up. This is your daughter out there, son. Uh, do I have a lifeline? <laughs> no? Yes, call Arthur. Arthur, what do you think? Yeah, 1-800-Arthur. Uh, obviously, her physician. And God bless you. You've worked out. You, you, you've earned that. And there are appropriate places to wear that. But I wouldn't wear that to church on Sunday. I wouldn't wear. I that. don't want to see you ever wearing anything like that. Just a little more coverage, just like. But you're completely comfortable with this, right? I am. Okay, that, that was great. As they ogle her, and they're like, "Oh, it's don't. okay, yeah, right, yeah." And then that Duck Dynasty's guy is going to talk about what people should wear. Yeah, oh, right. That's the conversation we're having with the Duck Dynasty dude. Where's her beard? <laughs> okay, yeah. um, I love how sexist they are, man. Mm -hmm. I think it's hilarious. I think it's like one of the funniest things. Fox News is known for having uh, female anchors who all wear skirts. We've covered this before. The mole mm -hmm. that was inside Fox News then later wrote a book about it. Uh, he sat in a meetings where they asked sexual harassment trainers at Fox News, uh, "Can I ask women ask women anchors? Can I ask my boss?" If it's okay to wear pants, and the sexual harassment trainer said, "No, it yeah. is not okay. If your boss tells you to wear a skirt, you must wear a skirt on air, and he can tell you how short that skirt is." Okay, and that's why whenever you watch Fox News, they all wear skirts. They're all short, and all of their legs are on air. Yeah. They don't. Every they don't day. have leggings. They have nothing. Right? Yeah. It's a skirt like that shows the actual leg. Yeah, yeah and it, this is all the the setup is to encourage an air of wholesomeness and restraint when it comes to showing off your legs and then instantly 
instantly, it seems like the thing they love the most in the world is looking at the girl yeah. with the pink and the whatever. I forget what she's wearing. <laughs> I was looking at her butt. Did she have a face? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and look, I think, I think the viewers know what's really going on. And their viewership, like, are they sexist? Of course. One reason, perhaps, is because they have a 75-year-old male audience. That's who watches mm. their show. And the whole point of the, the segment, obviously, was it's going to be awesome that we get to look at people's legs and, and asses. And look, the, the women who apparently work on their shows, they desperately wanted to do it. You know, they like to be involved. They want to be on TV and everything. They might have preferred to not be ogled by Ducey, perhaps, Ducey. specifically. Uh, but that, that's the purpose of it. That's why they show the spring break, break videos over and over and over. Now, you could have a conversation, as I'm sure many parents do when they have kids. I'm not a parent. But I'm sure you talk about what sort of clothing would be okay and what wouldn't be okay. And when you get to that point, that's a conversation that both the father and the mother or father and father or mother and mother are involved in. So that would have been okay. But clearly, they were not interested in what they said the setup was. They were only interested in ogling women. And another thing, we have an all-male panel, but it's only because this we are we are the most qualified to talk about all-male panels. <laughs> <laughs> that's what make that's what we're qualified to do. Well, we're no, the, the problem is they have three men judging women. We have three men judging four men. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. And yeah. when you said seventy-five-year-old like male audience, I'm like, ah, so that nitroglycerin pill joke must have killed. Yes. Because yeah. I was, we were like, I don't what know. What is that? What is it? John was the only one who knew. I got it because I watch House. You watch <laughs> That's oh, literally the I don't even think you were the most You've white. You've seen every... <laughs> Wait, is that a white thing to take nitroglycerin? It's for a few bad uh, heart attacks. Uh, it sounds like pressure. you're a superhero at this point. Like, I eat nitroglycerin. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, like, they... they no, that was the irony was awesome. She came out and they're like, oh, you shouldn't wear this. Oh, you're so fucking hot. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at her, man. Oh, I did, oh, blood pressure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because all the blood went down to my cock. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, that's no, don't wear it. Don't wear don't, it. But so oh, bad. show me your ass again. Yeah. Oh, so I good. mean, that is Fox News in a nutshell right there. Don't do that, yeah. but show me your ass again. Uh.